<coughs> hey, there we are. Hey, guys. I, uh, <laughs> I had such a big job to do this morning. I came out and left my SIM card at home, and Victor was on his way, so I said, Vic, stop by the drugstore and get a, a SIM card. So he's done that for us. I needed one anyways. I had one calf on me. It was acting up. Big job here right now. Big, lots of climbing. There's a fair bit of room, but it's still, it's, nothing can be felled. It's got to be climbed. It's big wood. It's good sized timber. You know, there's, there's a lot of it here too. There's probably eight or nine great big trees, 130, 140 footers. Uh, so I'm not going to talk long. I'm just going to give you shots in and out. And uh, you'll be looking at sticks at the end of the day and stumps. Sticks and stumps may break my bones. <laughs> I like that. Sticks and stumps. Over and out. Hey, friends. Yeah, so we're getting up this first tree here. Good size tree. Like it, it just is. I'm at, I'm at close to 100 already. It's tall. Big wood. This part of town's always got big tall wood. See? What was that? Oh, there it is there, there's more, you know. But we, we do have room, like I said, but uh, we got the wind behind me too. For once, the wind is behind me. I gotta strip some weight off the backside. I'm leaving the weight out the front to pull it off the stem. I was hoping to take it in two pieces. We'll see how it goes, over and up. Okay, well, here we are. We're near the top, but this is actually quite a nice view. I got the hole in and I'm all got downtown where the ferries come in and everything, like it's nice. There's the mill. I live way over there. There's, see, there's college heights up there. I know it's hard to see in the GoPro. But uh, we're, we're near the top of the tree, I would think. I'll get Victor to eye this thing up. I think I can let a pretty good sized top go. I was hoping to get it in, in two pieces, you know what I mean? So, uh, which I might be able to. I might be able to. But I just want to look at this thing because I got, a, I got a pretty good shot down there. Pretty good shot. You can see? You know. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot, Vic. Yeah, I think I can get a pretty good hit in and repel off just two pieces. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? And then there's a hole in between the uh, shed and the house, right? Yeah. Like I could fit the top in there, like just right where you are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we can get a pretty good sized top in, Vic. Like, I, I'm feeling comfortable with that. So, I mean, that, that's pretty tasty. And then uh, I could even roll it off these crowns here.
Wakala. Oh, hardtail. You know what would be really nice? Is that 570 with the rubber mount? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Real nice. <laughs> All right, I should be able to knock that out in one piece now. I'd reckon. One down, seven to go. It's big timber, real big. All three and four foot stuff. <laughs> it is, over and out. Hey, friends. So here's the next morsel to bite into. I'm gonna climb this little guy and go up and just kick a top out of it and then rappel off and grab this great big one and that great big one at the same time so I don't have to climb a big tree. It's kind of nice. I'll just climb the little one. I'll shoot over, probably grab this one and then go over and get that one and whatever. Put the stems in here. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're at the top of this little tree here now and uh, I'm just gonna use it. Use this as a tie in here, but uh, I'm just gonna let a little top go because. I don't want it catching brush from up above with these two, so I'll just turn it into a spar with a with a tie-in off it. Okay. I'll shorten up this limb so that it doesn't get so there. Now I got a little spar tree. The tops out of it. You see? Now I can tie in. And I can shoot over and I'm half, I'm past halfway up these two great big trees. So this is nice. This is real nice. I'll use this as my tie-in. And we'll call it Jim Dandy. There's that other spar I knocked out earlier. So we got this one in front of me and we got this one, this one behind me here too. It's good size. And the wind's blowing too. So it's a little bit of a bugger. I'll probably have to go up kind of a ways in that one. That's actually the tallest tree on the claim right there. And it's riddled in root rot, riddled in root rot. Guaranteed. Okay. Enough. There's some big trees in here, boy. Right in the center of town, eh? And it's going down there. This 
is a big tree. I'm like, my strap is like maxed right out. It's just a, just a fat, fat, look at the bark on it. So anyway, I got two straps and it straightens out right about there. It's still quite fat, but it, it's, a, it's quite a big tree really. So we're gonna get this one now. We got some stems standing around here now. Some debris on the ground. Over and out. Tall tree. Okay. Hmm. What up? starting to blow now getting up through this canopy. Oh, look at it out here. It's blowing, fucking it's blowing. I'm gonna see if I can creep this off that maple crown there. We'll see what, we'll see what happens here. I don't know. I don't know. I think I should be able to get it.
wonderful that is? Off that tree and right down at the floor of the bloody tree. I love it. Crown saved out. Nice big piece of hinge wood. Looking good. Probably gonna have to call for the 1010 pretty quick. So there's our job for the day, friends. Oh, you're still on, good. I thought the battery was gonna be out. That was a big day of climbing. Excuse me. I'm coming out. Those are big trees. Over and out. I just got out of this tree. Look at it. It's riddled in steel everywhere. It's four feet across the stump. Easy four feet, like it is. Look at it. Oh, it's a, oh it is, Vic. It's a big, dirty, skanky fur. Okay. And a dead Arbutus. Oh, at the same job? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, just small things. Nice. Well, we're, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of climbing today. Yeah. <laughs> It's a uh, big, big timber in here. It's in the center of town and uh, it just is, it's big timber. I was on the picks all day and uh, this last one was a bugger. Look at it. Look at the heaping of brush. Victor was kind to stop by and grab a couple of these little ones for me out front to save me, to save me the hassle on those. Victorious Victor done that. But uh, I mean, he, he, here they are. We got one more there but I can literally scale up that tree, run through that brush, hang a rope. I, I might even be able to bang it off with a wedge and cut the thing in half right to the corner. Like literally, it, it won't, that tree's a half an hour drop. Okay, it's on the ground. And then we got this one out front. And what Victorious is gonna do is skin a few peel, peel these uh, maple limbs off here so that I can fall that thing. I'm gonna slip it right down the side of the house, right up in here and this job's over. But we're gonna leave the stem stand. So the guy's gonna, he's gonna demo this and he's building a, a few homes in here. So I told him, just leave the stem stand for now. Get all this brush out of here. Then while he's got the excavator here, we'll work together knocking the trees, uh, the stems over with the excavator. It just works perfect. Why fight it with the ropes and all that and the pulleys and the, because they're all leading hard back, hard back. They've all got that sloop to the sun, you know. But, but these trees were big. So we, we got we had a pretty good day in here actually and that they've all got ropes in it except for that one little skinny guy Vic which is no problem so yeah we're ready to go for the morning so it's three o'clock we started at nine ish yeah about nine yeah yeah so it's good it was a good day we'll be back tomorrow to, to finish her up but like I say we're, we're gonna leave the stems mind you I might could probably slip that stem by here, eh, Vic? If it hits there and bumps over to the side, it'll hit the house, eh? So we'll have to think about that. Over and out.